Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the Wet n Wild um, foundation, the Photo Focus foundation. And I got two shades because I couldn't get a perfect shade. I felt like the the cocoa was my perfect shade, but I was a bit too scared about the undertone as to how it's going to turn out. Because I was a bit, um, I was not very really trusting of the undertone, so I was like, just in case it doesn't work out well, I have the mocha, which is definitely darker than I am, but it will um, deepen it, and it has the right undertone, so I was kind of keeping it safe there, playing it safe. So if you want to see me review the foundation, um, stay tuned. Now, before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tato, and you're most definitely welcome. Please click the subscribe button to join the fam and hit the bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get into the video. Alright, so um, first things first, um, I like the size of this foundation. It could be very easily, um, it could very easily be um, travel friendly, so to say, you can put it in a handbag. It's, it's not very small, but it's not too large. I like that. I like the cute little... Um, packaging they went for and I love the price guys you get this at discount for hundred rand I think it's ninety nine ninety nine or ninety nine ninety yeah but you basically get it for hundred rand and um yeah it's cruelty free as you know most wet and wild products are cruelty free and it says um it has been tested under seven lighting conditions um with top photo smartphone models and with and without flash so yeah it's called um photo focus because it's basically anti-flashback so we're going to test that out today right so when i open it up okay um this is it has something that looks like a ice cream spoon or like a i don't know like a small dessert spoon basically and i kind of don't like that i wish it had like a pump so i can measure easily or like i could s squirt it out which I have to use this little spoon so I, I'm gonna go first into the cocoa as I said it, it's my shade and I'm just gonna take two two spoons I think yeah I guess it's not too bad it's not too bad but it's just very unusual and I'm gonna mix it a little bit with the mocha oh my gosh guys I just realized that this had a little thing there that is protective which shows that when i just snapped it now it was new i snapped this right here and then i realized that when i opened this one it didn't have it so i guess somebody removed it in store so it's probably been used i don't know maybe it's used maybe it wasn't maybe they just opened it up to check it out i don't know but that sucks yeah and i'm gonna take a little bit of the mocha just a little bit and mix it there with the cocoa i feel like this is this is a good amount of foundation it better cover my entire face so i'm mixing it up a little bit there by the back of my palm spreading it across my face I'm just gonna blend it out um i like the the feel of the foundation it's very liquid it's very wet but it doesn't really run so it's very wet and which means it's very lightweight so let's see how the coverage works out okay so i can definitely see that because i put in the um the marker it's the darker shade yeah it is a bit more orange than I am, so maybe I shouldn't have used mocha, even though I used a little bit. So maybe I was just distrusting of the other shade, but it's actually my shade. Hmm. Yep, I think so. But you know, I, I always never mind to go a little bit darker than I am, than to be ashy. Like, that's how I feel. The finish is not... It's not matte, but it's not, um, it's not, well, I could say it's dewy. 
a bit. Okay, so I am happy with the coverage, but what I do not like is that I am very red, and I think it's because of the darker um, foundation. So I'm just gonna go back, like with another coat of the cocoa, just so I can lighten myself up a bit. But otherwise, I am happy with the coverage and the finish. Alright, so this is the foundation. I am done with the layer. As you can see, it is very much full coverage and um, the finish is dewy. And I'm happy with the dewy finish as a dry skin person, but also because I personally like it. But I think um, it works very well with my skin type as well. So that's why me and dewy skin are a good combo. Um, um, yeah, good coverage. Um, dewy skin, nice feel. Um, I like the consistency of the foundation. Um, I will say though, if you are a dry skin person, no, an oily skin person, then I'd recommend you use this foundation with a mattifying primer, a very good primer. Otherwise, I recommend it, guys. I really love this foundation. I love how it finished. Um, and I love that it's affordable. Like I actually, I usually don't like to use a product for the first time because this is the first time that I'm using it. I don't like to use a product for the first time and sets like high expectations for it because I don't know how it's going to finish. But actually, I'm quite impressed with this. I'm actually quite impressed. So I'm going to go off camera and finish up my face and then come back to you guys. Alright guys, so it is golden hour outside. So I'm about to take some pictures and show you guys because this is a um, photo ready foundation. So and, and they claim that they tasted it in seven different lightings. So I'll be showing you guys how my self selfies look outside with golden hour. I'll also be showing you my inside selfies as well as um, photos with flash and... Um, nighttime selfies as well with flash i'll try that for you guys and i'll show you the pictures on the screen and yeah Pull up if you're feeling lonely. Alright, so this is the end of the video guys. Um, I look snatched. I love this foundation. Um, one thing that I will mention though is that um, I felt that it was dewy as I was applying it. But a few minutes later, just give it a moment and it just kind of settles down a bit. It's not very mattifying so it doesn't dry you up and it doesn't become like super matte. But it just kind of cools down a bit so it doesn't have that glowy... Um, dewy finish that it had when you first applied it but otherwise i'm not complaining love how it look i love um how it looks i love how it turned out and how it worked out i give it a thumbs up so far you will see the photos and you'll be the judge for yourself let me know how you feel about it in the comment section will you get it i mean it's only 100 rand and um if you like the results you'll surely go for it um if you do want to get yourself one it is available at um clicks yeah wet and wild is available at clicks i say and um head over to the physical so i'll check if it's available online as well on clicks and if it is i will link it in the description box below give this video a massive thumbs up if you like it and remember if you haven't subscribed yet click the subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications every time i upload i will see you guys in the next video